Hello everybody, it is Mike Levin and I'm doing the follow-up video I promised on this Fort de Dour semi-industrial steam cleaner. And it's reading 338 degrees Fahrenheit, so I guess the internet did not mislead me. Now the documentation only assures up to 170 degrees and I did some more research and it turns out that 170 degrees is that magic number above which you're pretty sure to kill any of the living bacteria or insects or whatever. Uh, nothing's going to survive at over 170 degrees in, in everyday life, of course, maybe extremophile. So I use one of these two attachments. They look identical. Um, oops, even the ends look pretty identical. So I guess uh, this will show up a little better in the video against the black table. So I'll put that on. And I got these two buttons. One appears to be like for wet steam and the other appears to be for blasting steam. And so it says there's condensation that has built up. And you got to get for about 10 seconds into a bowl. So that's why I got this. Oh, and look at that. Wow. Okay. So I'm getting ready to do a folding job. You can see the bags and bags of laundry I have here after double washing everything for my latest situation. Now, one of the issues is that I am putting it back into the bureau of my kid and my kid's bureau has these fabric drawers. All right, so these couldn't go through the wash. If there's anything that was alive in there, it ain't anymore. I guess I'll do the outside for good measure. Wow. That is a remarkable device. I'm not sure what these buttons do. Oh, it's different levels. Oh yeah, I want the highest level for sure. definitely feel the dampness of this, uh, which is a little cause for concern because life likes damp. So I'll let it dry out a little before I put, start putting the clothes in there actually. And I have to say, it's not feeling, you know, I'm not putting my hand in the path of the steam because that would be stupid. But from the steam that goes off to the side, it's either not as hot as it's saying, or there's something I'm missing, or steam cools down quickly as it goes out to the sides. It's certainly coming out nicely, you know, with the pressure and everything that I had hoped for. Now this is wet steam uh, versus dry steam perhaps. So I, I do this. Okay, I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now I have to say this button here is still a little bit of a mystery to me. It's wet steam versus not wet steam apparently. And then this one definitely is controlling the level of the steam and boy, is that coming out awesome. I mean, you know, it's very satisfying. Uh, <coughs> it feels like you're using a Doofenshmirtzinator weapon for sure. And you can see when you hit the uh, when you hit the water button while it's going, a uh, little H or something happens on there. So this is without hitting that button. And it stays at the, the just the temperature reading with this blinking steam thing. Now if I hit the button, it says H two O. That's what it's saying. 
so it's just more water. It's wet steam versus dry steam. So I think I'm going to prefer dry steam without hitting that button. concerns about that temperature level. There's not a lot of controls here. There's, you can hear it heating back up. It's not a touch screen except for that little power button. That's the only spot on the screen that makes a, a change. And there's not a lot of other controls either. It's definitely made for being a no-brain user. And it just might be that my concept in my head of a hundred and 70 degrees steam or 300, maybe it's 329 internally and it's 170 coming out here. I don't know. Uh, I may take the meat thermometer to it, but at any rate, this is what it's made for. So I think I'm doing it right. really never owned anything much like this in my life. There's a few devices that have been lifetime uh, keepers, and uh, I've got another one sitting right ne near me here, uh, but I'll make separate videos for that, the IQ Air um, air filter. So I only have two more drawers to go. I might as well finish it out. Uh, somewhat of a satisfying process here. this because these things can't really go into the wash. Everything in my, everything fabric in my life I have double washed at this point. Curtains and everything. Technically, it's not so much steam clean because you're not lifting stuff up and away, but boy, that uh, is the ex physical experience, with the exception of the heat not actually feeling as hot as I had imagined in my head, that is definitely um, what I was hoping for as far as what it's like using uh, something like this. So after stuff is folded, I might give it, you know, how many uses could you find for this, right? It's, it's wonderful. You can clean the table. Uh, it's great for cleaning the bathroom and behind the refrigerator and uh, dishwasher and all those places that are traditionally very difficult to clean. A sustained hot blast of steam is gonna pretty much loosen any grime, anything that's built up and kill the mold, so grouting mold and stuff. So 
I love it. I love it. I hope this thing holds up. One of my concerns, you know, it's a two-edged sword, is that it, it uses tap water. So you got the uh, lime calcium buildup problem for sure, and it's going to take some cleaning, but it's easier. It's far easier, but will certainly uh, lower the life of this thing. It might be good to use water softener or something from time to time, but I'll research it and find out what's best. And so now I feel good about folding the clothes with confidence, uh, putting it away in the drawers, uh, maybe throwing plastic over it afterwards. But, you know, there's this time period where after you've uh, annihilated your little critter infestation problem, there still may be viable eggs in your environment and they could come back. So what you have to do is stay on guard, continue vacuuming, and now in this case, I am going to do this over every inch of the steps, the only carpeted part of my whole apartment, and I've either gotten rid of the fabrics in my life or double washed it. I've kind of gone on a war against fabric. And um, yeah, that's that. Um, very pleased.